Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a collective haul for you guys. Um, <clears throat> everything's going to be um, cosmetics, pretty much. Yeah, everything's cosmetics. Um, like I said, it's a collective haul. I didn't buy all these items at once, and I bought these in a period of time, maybe over like the last two weeks or so. So I just want to show you guys what I have, since I have enough things to present to you guys in a haul. So what I'm going to be showing you is stuff that I bought from CVS, um, Walmart, Altus, and Kmart. Yep, Kmart. Now that's it. So I'm going to start off with the stuff that I picked up from CVS. So I picked up two of the two more of the Milani um, HD um, concealers. And they just look like this. I got them in number four, which is medium honey. Um, Milani was had they're having like their 75% off sale, and when I went to my CVS, they only had two more of the color that I wear, and I really love these, and I use them use it every day. This is like my favorite favorite um, concealer at the moment. So I bought two more because I'm not you can't really tell like how much is in there. Like this is the one I'm using right now. I can feel like the weight difference but I don't know how much is left so okay this is how it works this is the one I'm already using right now it comes with a brush applicator and you just click these up and the product comes out and that's the color I have which is lighter than me but I have dark circles so it works really great I picked up two more of the wet n wild trios because I had a coupon to get you know you buy one Wet and Wild product, you get one free. So I pick these two up. I have I Dream of Greeny, <laughs> which is kind of cute. There's all greens. I've used this already. And I really love Wet n Wild eyeshadows because they're really pigmented. Like, let's show you. Like that. And that's a pretty green. So these are all shimmer snow mattes. And then they also tell you what to put on your brow bone, your crease, and your eyelid. Then I picked, the second one that I picked up is the I Got Good Jeans, which I really like. I've been using a lot of the blue, as you can see. And it has like a light blue, a really dark jean blue, and a pretty gold. Now these two, these two colors I've been using quite a lot, but I use the blue a lot in my crease when I don't want to use a black. And it's really pretty, and like I said, these are really pigmented. I'll swatch the blue for you. I'm actually getting over a cold. This is my second cold this month. For I don't know what reason I used to never get sick. Okay, so next that I picked up from CVS is, I guess this. This is it, right? I picked up um, this baked ra black radiance artesian color baked blush, and this is new. This is in the color warm berry. Now. I don't know if all CVS have these, but mine does, and this was like $5.49, and it's a red, which I've been wanting, I've been pretty much going over in my head whether I want to buy the NARS um, Exhibit A blush, because it's a red, I just don't want to pay like $29 for one blush, which I may do, but not right now, so this one was only 5 and this one works, I've swatched it, that's about it, but it's really pretty red, it has a little shimmer in there. And I like the reds because it gives you like a natural flushed look. That's a, let's see. Here's a swatch of it. But you just go really light. I just like I would lightly just put it on my cheeks just to give me like that natural flushed look because it's in the winter. I think that's that's cool because you've been outside it's cold, so I like that look. Okay, next I will show you, oh, I only picked up one product from Kmart because I went to go get a birthday gift from my mom and I picked up another Jordana blush. I love these blushes. They're really cheap and very pigmented. They are $2.49. I have this one in Blushing Rose, which is this, um, what is it? Elf has the same color blush like this and it's called Blushing Rose, but this one to me is more pigmented and that's how it looks. I would compare but I don't have time because I have so much stuff to show you but this is how it, it's just a nice rosy like purpley color very pretty 
Uh, next I'll show you the things that I picked up from Kmart. So I picked up a NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and I have this in Naturally Beige. I wanted to try another face powder. I've been using the CoverGirl. Um, this is the oil control um, pressed powder. And I naturally, I normally have really dry skin, but I've noticed with the foundation I've been using, which is Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me, it has a very dewy look, which I do not like. It makes me look oily, so the oil control pressed powder works really good. But I've been wanting to try this, and this is way cheaper than the CoverGirl pressed powder. The CoverGirl pressed powder, I think I paid $7.99. This one was like $2.49, and it comes in this container. And I haven't tried it yet, so it's still sealed, it's sealed like that, and it just has all this powder in there. And then it comes with a little, you know, sponge, which I don't know if I like. I probably just use my brush. But that's how it looks. So I'm anxious to try that out because I've seen, you know, people talking about it on YouTube. Um, next, like I said, I've been wanting that NARS Exhibit A. So I also picked up a Dream Bl Bouncy Blush, which is in Hot Somali, and this one is red. And I didn't like this at first because, well, the first time I bought one of these, I bought the light shade, which didn't show up that well. So this one works really good. And like I said, bouncy blush, so it has like a like a little bouncy fill in. It feels weird. See how it pushes over? Anyways, here, this is how it looks. And just to compare to the next, to the other blush, it's not as bright. Like this is it. It's not as bright as this one. So this one is easier to apply. You can't really tell because of my lighting, but I actually have it on right now. I don't know if you can see, but I just I just apply it like this. You know, you can't really see, but it it, it gives me like a natural flush look. So I really like this. Uh, next, I picked up another NYC product. I only picked up one eyeshadow duo because I've never tried the NYCs and I wanted to see how they work. So I picked this one up. And this is in Upper Zest Side, and it is oh, it comes with this little brush. It is a orange and a yellow. I don't have an orange or a yellow eyeshadow. So that's how they look. And so far they seem rather pigmented. They seem rather pigmented, like that's how they look. It's pretty, just a pretty orange, and that's a really bright yellow. So to pair with that, I'm so in love with these Maybelline color tattoos. Um, they're not 24 hours. To me, I would say they're about maybe 12 hours. Yeah, well, they usually last all day for me, but I got this one in Fierce and Tangy, number 10. And this is how it looks. Pretty orange, which I thought would I could pair with this duo. And let's watch it for you. I did a review on these. I really like these. This one's a matte orange. That's how it looks. Like that. Really matte orange. It's really pretty. And I really like these. They and I, these work really good under like eyeshadows or alone as an eyeshadow. Or you can use them as an eyeliner. You can use an eyeliner brush. Okay, so the next. Oh wait. I got two things from the beauty supply store. The beauty supply store by me. They just started selling these NYX um, round tube glosses so I really like these I usually get these from Cherry Culture or this eBay site Pork Daisy and I picked this up in Apricot and Deep Red and this is how they look Apricot's just like a really sheer like apricot color and it pairs really well over a nude lipstick because I have tried it on already Deep red is a very like deep purplish red, and it goes well over my. Oh yeah, I picked out one more thing. It goes really good over this Mac lipstick that I purchased recently that I was intending on including in this haul, but I almost forgot. So let me show you the swatch of it first before I show you the lipstick. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This right here is, is apricot, and this one is um, deep red. Now, what I paired the deep red with when I wore it is this um, lipstick that I picked up from MAC. This is the Viva Glam 3. Yeah, 
We have Gam 3, which is, is a matte, like, brownish plum color. It's like that. Really pretty, and I like the matte color. However, sometimes I need a little shine, so that goes perfect with it, and I'll swatch that. And then here it is right by the deep red. When you put the deep red over that, it looks really, really pretty, and it just gives you a nice deep color, and it kind of darkens this up a bit. It gives it a more of a, sh a shine, so it's not a matte finish anymore. And I really like this, so yeah. Uh, I only picked up four things from Alta's, um, only because I was just wasting time in Alta's, and I just happened to see that NYX products had a sale. I was buy one, get one half off, so I figured, hey, why not? So I picked up a eyeliner, which is this um, matte black liner, and black, obviously. And is this a matte black liner? I'm like swatched up on this hand. So that's how it looks. Just a matte black. And I actually have it on my, well, I did have this on my waterline today, but it appears to be gone. So that was just a test. I want to see how it works. This is not a waterproof eyeliner it is very black so I would probably just continue I would probably just put it on my lash line and not my waterline because it is gone like you can't really see it so hey whatever I picked up another one of these um, loose pigments a while ago I bought a lot of these from um, cherry culture with work daisy and I wasn't really using them I bought a lot of them and I just started using them I like to put these on my lower lash line like with like I put a, you know like a certain kind of shadow up here I like to pull a contrasting color under here or even if I put like a liner on just because I think it's so pretty and it gives you that pop of color so I picked this one up in true purple pearl it looks like that and they just come in these little containers it's just loose pow um, powders a lot of people complain about the hole being really small but I use this Sonia Kasha brush it came in a set and it's really really small and it fits in here it fits in the container and that's how I get it out and it works really good some people complain about that but I don't have a problem with it and that's how that purple looks very shimmery because it is a pearl look but like I said I really love them for my waterline what I would suggest though if you do put up the not your waterline, your lower lash line. Mine stay all day, but I prime my lower lash line with primer potion or Urban Decay. And it helps it stay all day. Okay, last I picked up two of the NYX Extreme Lip Creams. And I picked up this one. This one is Bonfire. And I picked up Spicy, I believe. Yes, yeah, spicy. And these are, um, you know, they look similar to the, the packaging looks similar to the matte lip creams. Um, I'm not going to tell you too much on these just because I want to do a compare video of these in the matte lip creams. But they are really pretty. Like, this is a really pretty pink. I can swatch it, though. I can swatch it. Okay, this is a pretty pink, and the spicy is a very bright red which I usually go for deeper toned red so I'm really gonna have to line my lips and work with this because it's not like a typical red that I would go for so I'm gonna work with that one but this is the red right here and that's the pink you see how bright that red is so that's all thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video sorry if my sniffing drove you completely mad but like I said I am getting over a cold and I've been wanting to do this video. I've been having these products sitting by my desk and I figured I'd do it now before I cook my dinner. So talk to you guys later. Bye!